Hello and welcome back everyone. Today I got a little bit of a shorter video uh, because today the new snapshot 23w42a uh, dropped and uh, with it the new crafter block and I took the opportunity to create an automatic crafting system um, The basic idea is uh, that you can store crafting recipes in this memory back here and um, you can just craft everything you want. Um, currently I only got a few materials in there. Um, so we got the basic uh, diamond and ores and uh, some wood types. And um, so I implemented three recipes for now, uh, diamond pickaxe, powered rails and dispenser. Uh, so let's just take a look at how this works. Um, I've got this input chest over here. You uh, put the item in there. It puts it into a minecart. And the minecart travels around uh, this loop here. Uh, if you get a look into it, um, you may have seen it. The minecart has uh, the paper in there and then four other placeholder items. Uh, so only matching items can get sucked into it. And um then you can see here when the minecart goes through uh, this item gets sucked into the minecart um, but then the hopper underneath is unlocked uh, which takes it out again immediately so it can go back into the storage so essentially um, we just read out uh, whether the content of the minecart matches any item in the chest and um, this then symbolizes that uh, this slot in the crafting recipe uh, contains this item that is uh, associated with that slot. Um, so for example, for a diamond pickaxe, the first three slots are diamonds. Um, so we got the diamond pickaxe uh, card in the, in the diamond slot. But then uh, we got a placeholder item for the fourth item uh, where we want to have a, an empty slot. And I got class for that. Uh, obviously, would use a named item or something later on if you want to have crafting recipes that contain class. And um, yeah, it's filled out later. I will show you. And um, then in the middle, there's sticks. Um, also, the powered rail also uses a stick in the middle of the crafting recipe. So you can see that multiple recipes can be in this chest here. Um, Obviously, if you have more recipes, there will be a lot more in those chests. So, um, all the slices do is uh, they trigger those rails. And here we have the chests that actually contain the items. Uh, so here's the placeholders, and there's the diamonds, um, somewhere here is the sticks. And they all get put into this uh, dropper line. Uh, it's not an instant dropper line, you may want to use one if you have more slices. Um, but it should also be fine because the uh, uh, dropper line is faster than the minecart, so it should even be fine like this. Um, yeah, then um, this part over here is just for testing. The items just pass through uh, over here uh, into the crafter, and they fill up the crafter. We can see this maybe uh, for the next item. So if we want, uh, we can take a powered rail recipe. Um, we insert the recipe into this chest. Uh, my code goes on its way. We see um, lines are triggered and the items will make their way into this crafter. Um, so we got uh, the gold, then uh, the placeholder item, another gold, and um, yeah, another gold, then the stick in the middle, and um, when all the slots are full, you will see that the placeholder item is pulled out. And then when the recipe is complete, um, so it uh, leaves enough time for up to nine placeholder items to be roofed, and then it crafts the recipe, and we got uh, the power rails. Also, uh, the pickaxe we crafted um, the first time is also done here. Um, yeah. And just to demonstrate, then you can also uh, craft dispensers, which uh, use bows, which are unstackable items, which is a nice uh, feature. Um, you can have this too. 
and then we can see that the bows uh, which should be somewhere over here yeah uh, so then we have this named paper and it doesn't rely on the bow sticking to anything we can use unstickable items in the recipes they will make their way in here just like everything else um, yeah also a nice touch is that uh, we have to use those placeholder items um, to make sure only the fitting uh, paper can match uh, what's in the minecart and when the minecart returns all those uh, are filled back up so in theory we wouldn't need uh, all those chests uh, full chests one item per chest would be enough um, and also the minecart returns and from what I've tried so far, I didn't have any losses, um, but I'm I'm not sure. Maybe <laughs> sometimes the cactus uh, eats a minecart or something. Anyway, um, yeah, so my idea how you would use this is you could have an anvil and then just rename your paper to whatever you want to be crafted, put it in there, oops, <laughs> put it in there, and then um, a few seconds later, <laughs> maybe a minute, uh, you will get your item. Obviously, there's a lot of room for improvement. You can make this faster, maybe more compact. Um, but for first, oh yeah, obviously uh, the holy grail would be to have um, like redundant um, recursion crafting, like uh, crafting the bow if there's no bows already, or if you want to craft a crafter, you first may want to craft a crafting bench. Um, that's all not in here yet. Um, but for a first concept, I think it's a it's a great starting point, and um, I'm also proud that I got to like use this uh, design for reading out contents of minecarts for once. Um, yeah, so maybe I will do a follow up. Uh, I'm not sure yet, um, but um, yeah, I hope you have learned something. Maybe you're inspired to create something like this yourself, and uh, see you next time.